Zach Spencer, are you ready to play? Name, Name that, that car. car. Is it a Mercedes S-Class? Is it a Honda Accord? Maybe a BMW 5 Series. What about an Acura RL? Could it be an Infiniti? Did you guess, Hyundai? This is the impressive Genesis. It's a rear-wheel drive luxury sedan from Hyundai, and it's here to do some damage to the competition. So if you're somebody who's in the marketplace for an entry-level luxury sedan, well, that's where this car is priced. But you get a lot of features and attributes of a premium luxury sedan. It's a big rear-wheel drive car as well, bigger than the BMW 5 Series. Even though the styling has been influenced by so many other premium brands, it has a very handsome look to it, even a solid look. Notice that there's no Hyundai badge on the front of the car, only the Hyundai stylized H on the trunk. The name Genesis is featured prominently on the back. By the way, you won't even find the Genesis on the main Hyundai website. It has a unique site called HyundaiGenesis.ca. We've already mentioned that this car is priced to compete with entry-level luxury sedans. You can order pretty much any gadget you could ever think of, and it's also offered with either a V6 or a V8 engine. So how much does it cost? The starting price? It's just 38000 And if you want to get the V8 fully loaded with the full technology package, it's just 48000 I mean, that's tens of thousands of dollars less than anything Germany or even Japan has to offer. But the real question is, is it just a cheap knockoff? Well, have a look for yourself. The wood trim inside the car is finished with exquisite detail. The gaps and tolerances around every interior panel and fixture are perfect. The feel and finish of the center console buttons is perfectly uniform. The brush metal feel of the optional computer interface, along with the rich leather seats and first-rate plastics and materials, will have Lexus scratching their head. How do they do it for so cheap? Zach didn't mention the very roomy back seats, almost like a limo. And he didn't mention the standard features like heated front seats, keyless entry and start, leather seats, memory seats, steering wheel and mirrors, iPod interface, and a host of other features. Our V6 model with technology package has even more features to play with, including front and rear park assist, backup camera, navigation, a killer stereo, cooled seats, and more, all for under $45,000. Now, those of you who watch driving television regularly know that I complain about the Hyundai seating position, that the seat doesn't go low enough for taller drivers. Not the problem with the Genesis. They seem to have sorted that out. But I find the seat bottom on this car a little bit too short. So on longer trips, you don't have a lot of thigh support. <laughs> We've already mentioned that this car is more than likely going to compete with entry-level luxury cars. Now, they could have just come with a V6 engine to compete with those cars, and it would have done an admirable job. But in order to really get noticed, Hyundai's also come up with a chunky V8. Our test car is the 3.8-liter V6, pumping out 290 horsepower, and the 4.6-liter V8 puts out 375 horsepower, more than many cars costing twice as much. The six-speed tranny does a commendable job of shifting smoothly, but there is no sport mode to automatically make the car more lively. This should be included if the Genesis really wants to take on the big boys. This 3.6 liter V6 does an admirable job around town, pretty good. It actually cruises very nicely on the highway, but to get the most out of it, you have to switch the transmission into manual mode. Take the H off the steering wheel here and put the Lexus L on there. Put anybody in this car and tell them it's a Lexus, they would not doubt it one bit. The interior finish and materials is first class. I think this car really is aimed at somebody that might even be considering a Lexus product like the ES or even the GS, and they've done an excellent job. Like Zach mentioned, if you cover up the H on the steering wheel, it looks like you're driving a luxury car, and it drives like one too. It's not going to steal away buyers looking for the prestige of a German car, but the engineers have included ride elements of those spendy models. The ride is smooth, but not refined to the point where the driver can't feel the road. The Genesis delivers good road feel through the steering wheel and chassis back to the driver. Because this is a rear-wheel drive car, the weight distribution is close to 50-50. The V6 is offered with 17-inch wheels and the V8 with 18s. 
The Genesis also quietly goes about providing active and passive safety, including eight airbags, stability and traction control. So be quiet for a minute and just listen. There's no vibrations or rattles, very little road noise. The interior is very quiet. We've already mentioned some really great things about driving the Genesis. And something else that really stuck out for me is the brakes. They're not too hard, not too soft. And whether you need to stop really suddenly or you're just doing everyday driving, they're so smooth. If you like the look of this Genesis, there's a coupe version coming. So what do you think overall? Well, you know what, Zach? The first thing I think we have to mention is the price. It's absolutely amazing. And what you get for that great price is a very comfortable car, not just for the drivers, but also for the passengers. It's very spacious. You've got lots of leg room and room for cargo in the trunk. And it's just so smooth, both in acceleration and when you're braking. The interior is so quiet, and you know what? The V6 with 290 horsepower, it's just enough for this car. And on the downside, it really has nothing to do with this car, but unfortunately, the perception that people have of the Hyundai brand is just not that great. So I was telling people what I thought of this car, how great I thought it was to drive. People just kept saying, oh, but it's a Hyundai. You get that, unfortunately. You know what I like about this car, especially, is the interior. The finish is first rate. The gaps around all of the components and the way they fit in the car is what you would find in cars costing way more, even double. And they didn't come out with a front wheel drive version of a bigger Sonata. They already have one of those called the Azera. This is a rear wheel drive car. I love the way that rear wheel drive cars roll down the road. And in addition to that, they didn't go for a very soft suspension. It actually feels quite firm. Add in the price that Lacey mentioned and the features that you can get are the same as any other luxury brand. On the downside, there's no sport mode for the transmission to get the most out of the V6. Also, I mentioned the bottom of the seats, I find there isn't enough thigh support. And my last dislike surrounds styling. It's not a bad looking car, but it looks like it's been pieced together from every other premium brand out on the planet. It has no unique style of its own. This car reminds me of another brand that's known for building entry level cars, and they came out with a premium, very high end sedan, and it fell flat on its face. You know which one I'm talking about? The Volkswagen Phaeton. Exactly. But, Zach, we need to point out that the Phaeton costs twice as much as the Genesis. Good point. For complete specs, go to our website at drivingtelevision.com.